Every city has its secrets. Every person does too. But in Eden City, those secrets can be mythical. It's a throw of the dice with every mystery, because you'll never know what you'll find rolling in the mist. Hello, everyone, and welcome to our City of Mist actual play podcast, where a bunch of friends play a tabletop role-playing game and try to tell a story around it, because that's an original idea. <laughs> yeah! So, uh, my name is Kevin Carpenter. I am your MC, Master of Ceremonies, the guy who's playing the bad guys, describing the scenes, and making all these plans that these two jokers are going to fuck up. <laughs> oh, introducing ourselves? Yes. yes. Hi, I'm Ryan Bravo. I'm going... Should I say who I'm playing? Ah, we can get to that. Okay, moving on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Jason Figueroa. Fantastic first impression for all of our new I listeners. Know, seriously. <laughs> okay, look you gave. <laughs> I wanted to be smooth. Mm-hmm. So, to those who are just joining us and don't know what City of Mist is, City of Mist is a noir tabletop role-playing game where players have superpowers that come from mythology. Uh, the mist that the city of mist is known for hides most superpowered shenanigans from the public, but there's also tons of mysteries hidden under that mist as well. It's your guy's job to uncover that mystery, figure out who done it or what's going on, and try to save the day. I don't know if you guys noticed, because this is only audio, I uh, fixed my glasses in a very, I've got this sort of manner. Yeah, Bravo is very dramatic like yes. that. So yeah. this first episode is going to be... <laughs> This first episode is going to be our session zero. We're going to be introducing the characters, establishing some game mechanics, and hammering out the relationships to each other going forward. However, if you want to get straight to the action, feel free to skip to the next episode. With that being said, let's introduce our characters. Jason, do you want to go first? Yeah, I'm going to be playing the character Arthur Strange. He's a homicide detective who has the ability to see the dead. He can speak. He can talk to pretty much anything that is, I guess, dead, as well as a few little quirks here and there with his uh, supernatural powers. Mm -hmm. He's both old-fashioned detective, which means he likes to solve problems with his fists before he talks, and he's a cynic. But but at the end of the day, he's trying to do good. So so very much the hard-boiled detective character but he can speak to ghosts. Exactly. That that's pretty much the like the spirit of City of Mist right there, taking these noir tropes yeah. and adding a, a mythological um, is that a word twist yeah. to it. So and, Dirty Harry, right? Sort of. It's Dirty Harry meets Constantine meets. Uh, you ever seen Chayun Fat's Hard Boil? You know I haven't. <laughs> Jason, you know on a, on, a, on a off note. We are gonna get together and watch a movie. <laughs> there is a lot. Holy there, yeah, shit. put that on the massive list. I have to watch. We need to just have like a noir movie marathon to get us into the spirit of this show. Do you watch like Double in- Double Indemnity? That's a real good one. Yeah, Blade Runner, Chinatown. I've been yeah. meaning to see Chinatown. I like Confidential. Yeah. Anyway, I have seen none of these. <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> Bravo is an uncultured swine. <laughs> Speaking just of a swine, <laughs> uh, Bravo, would you like to uh, introduce your character? Well, yes, Kevin. <laughs> Come on, give me that. Um, my character is, uh, his name is Leo Castillo, or Castella, for the non-Spanish speakers. I am a 27-year-old, uh, pr- apparently genius, uh, emergency room uh, surgeon. I'm a pretty young guy, you know, just starting out. I sometimes don't feel too confident, but I know that I'm good enough. Um, I'm channeling the powers of Quetzalcoatl. Um, for some, the Mesoamerican mythology of, you know, the god of healing, life, wind, and the sun at one point. Um, I'm, a, I'm a guy who just does everything he can to do the right thing, to, to help and save people no matter the cost, even if it comes at my own cost. And, uh, yeah, I just want to make the world a better place any way I can. Fantastic. I feel like I should mention that um, the, the way players have superpowers in this game is that they are channeling a mythological oh, yeah. figure. Um <laughs> And I kind of said that earlier where the powers come from mythology, but but the way it works is that um, 
you know, characters in this story, and when they're channeling a mythological figure, it could be anything, Norse mythology, fairy tales, uh, American mythology, anything. So your character is channeling Quetzalcoatl, while Jason, your character is channeling uh, who? Uh, I forgot the the characters the the, well, the mythological figure's name, but it Man, was if we from had Egypt. Cameras, you would love he the was the of Kevin's face. the king of uh, the king of the dead in Egypt. Uh, was it Osiris or it wasn't Os- No, nah, it wasn't Osiris. It was Horus. Horus. No. Okay. Yeah. Uh, research your own yeah. history buffs Jason. out there. Again. Please let us know so you can tell us how dumb we are. Because uh, when we were creating the characters, I had forgot to write it down, but I remember it was from <laughs> Egypt. <laughs> Thank God we're right next to a computer. One second. Yeah. Uh, if for all you professionals out there, we you noticed you right. there was a hard cut. No, you were right. Uh, Osiris. Mm-hmm. Osiris? It was Osiris. I, I accidentally okay. accident stopped the, the recording. <laughs> it's recording now. You're fine. You're mm-hmm. fine. Okay. Osiris, yes. Anyways, moving on. So, okay. yeah. So, both your guys' powers come from mythology, and that's kind of what you've chosen. And so, your character is uh, channeling a god of death, and your character is channeling a god of life. Yes. So, right. uh, I, I guess that's a good way of going into our uh, crew theme. Uh, so, a, a mechanic in this game is uh, characters, rather than having stats, are made up of themes. So, each character is made up of four themes that either describe their normal life, you know, their, their logos. So, yours is being a hard-boiled detective, a cynic with police academy training. Right. And yours is a doctor uh, who will re- will reveal the other one later. <laughs> and your uh, mythos themes, which are your powers, your the mythology that you're channeling and the mysteries you're trying to investigate and all that. And so those themes are made up of uh, tags, which you guys will use for uh, later moves. And I'll go into that a little bit later. Actually, you know what? Screw it. I'll go into it now. So the basic conceit of this game, for people who haven't skipped this session zero for the actual plot, is every action that you know requires them to... It's, it's challenging. Uh, you roll two six-sided dice toward an in-game move, like facing danger or investigating a scene or something like that. They add whatever tags are applicable. So with uh, your character, Jason, I have to... I keep pointing towards you, and I realize people can't see me pointing at you. Um, <laughs> so if you want, want to habit. fix that problem, send us money at our Patreon. That'll one day go up so we could buy some cameras. <laughs> Shameless plug. <laughs> we, we don't have a Patreon yet. We, <laughs> you can just send us your money. <laughs> just give us your money. <laughs> Yeah, so, um, Jason, your character, two of your power tags are uh, boxing training and mean mm-hmm. right hook. So you use two of those to punch someone, you get a plus two to your roll. Right. Um, but let's say you had a little bit too much to drink, then you would activate your weakness tag that you have written down that you're drunk. So that would give you a minus one to your roll. But with that weakness tag, every time you activate it, you gain a attention uh, to one of your themes, which is basically an experience point. You get three of those, your theme levels up. So, what I love about this game is that the more you face your weaknesses, the more you grow as a person. And City of Mist is full of little narrative mechanics like that. There's rules for having a montage, for having a flashback. Uh, Every session starts with someone giving an internal monologue, just like a noir detective story. I fucking love it. So that was me smoking. You're a doctor. What do you smoke? You're the the last guy who was smoking. (laughs) And there are some damn, there are some good doctors out there who are surgeons who smoke because mm-hmm. it's a stressful job. No matter the move, no matter the action, no matter the tags, uh, the basic conceit of the game is you roll two dice and you try to get ten or higher. Ten or higher, you do the thing. Congratulations. Seven to nine, you kind of do the thing, but it's not as good or I give you a hard choice or expose you to danger or something like that. Six or less, not only do you not do the thing, but I get to make a hard move that messes up your life. So, like, me as the MC, you know, we don't have initiative. I don't have, like, a turn. I set things up for you guys. And then when you mess up, that's when I get to just completely wreck your day. What else do I have in my notes? Oh, it's so it's up to me as the MC to come up with the mystery and play all the NPCs, non-player characters, while it's up to the players to solve the mystery and save the day. If you'd like to learn more, you can find the City of Mist starter set online for free at cityofmist.co slash download to look up all the rules and all the other stuff that you need to sort of learn how to basically play the game. You can also buy the uh, core book at uh, Son of Oak's website, cityofmist.co. We're not being sponsored by them yet, but sponsor us. (laughs) Give us the money. (laughs) Please. 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 
<laughs> so uh, what, what brought me to talking about themes was your guys' uh, crew theme. So each of you have four themes that are uniquely you as a person. They change over the course of the game. Sometimes you lose themes, which means you lose that aspect of yourself and gain something else. So the more you change as a person, the stronger you become. But you guys also have a crew theme with tags that both of you get to share. As, as long as you work as a group, you get these benefits. Okay. So uh, I told you guys about this, and I gave you the uh, you know sort of sheet to make this uh, crew theme. So why don't you guys tell me uh, what you decided on? So uh, me and Jason had a very, very in-depth and serious conversation over this game because yeah. it is the future of our channel. In-depth <laughs> in -depth conversation where you forgot a major aspect of your character. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> so, <laughs> now, you're, now you're thinking... Odd. So uh, <laughs> now you're living up to the name of Odd Loot. So uh, we decided since we're very much like uh, different in the aspects of both a man is walking the path of death, I'm walking the path of life, we're the guardians of life and death, those who keep the balance. Um, should I say what kind of tags we're rolling with or? Yeah, just, yeah. Uh, yeah. So yeah, go with the tags. All right, cool. So, uh, you know, it's a hard city, so we need to move around. And I don't know, I know diddly squat about cars. So, Jason being the hardball detective and probably has a license, which I may not. Uh, sorry. <laughs> uh, uh, the, the reason Bravo said sorry was because uh, someone walked by his window. Yeah, he walked by, just stared at us like, what are these three nerds doing? <laughs> uh, so, in order to get around the, the city, we decided to uh, partake in Jason's uh, bulletproof car, which is a what? Dodge Charger. Dodge Charger. And what's that color? All black. Ooh, damn right. Because we're I want to say jet black. Ooh. Because <laughs> we're edgy. Okay, um, adding that to the notes. Add that to the notes. Um, another one is, you know what? Sometimes we have to have a little bit of help from time to time. So uh, our friendly neighborhood uh, raven, who apparently happens to be one of Odin's ravens, uh, from time to time helps us out or shits on our car. Uh, you know, keep the balance. Oh, no. I had that written down as ravens of knowledge. Oh. Well, either way, they're going to be shitting on a car. Uh, <laughs> it's gonna be a murder. <laughs> it's wait, it's no, Pope. wait, no, wait. That's a murder of crows, right? It's a murder. Of, yeah, a murder of crows yeah. is the actual grouping of crows. What's a grouping of ravens? Eh, whatever. Murder. Next thing. <laughs> Just uh, murder. Never I, I, wait, they're yeah. gonna shit on my car? Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm not gonna shit on your car. <laughs> <laughs> They'll be like, "You want the price of knowledge? You know what you got to pay." <laughs> um, and what was our last one? Um, oh, uh, what we're really good at. Um, we, we're, um, we're the, we're the, the good dog, bad cop. We know how to, we know how to get people to, to confess and things up to us. Cause you know, sometimes you got to grease the wheels, but sometimes you got to get the chingadasu, you know? I'm very curious to see who's going to be the good cop, bad cop in our thing. <laughs> I'll be the bad dog, good cop. <laughs> Listen here, man. You're going to get herpes if you don't help us. I'm not even near anything. I got a syringe. <laughs> and I'm like standing in the back, like. Yeah, you can't do that. That's yeah, yeah. against the law. <laughs> and I'd be like, you want this information, don't you? He's like, he's got a point, man. You better give it up. <laughs> but uh, yeah, and um, our weakness tag is, uh, well, we're very strong, independent individuals. So there is no clear leadership. So yeah. uh, I don't know how we're going to make uh, good good cop, bat doc, or whatever work. But uh, we're going to make that happen in, in the only city that's possible. <laughs> the city of mist. <laughs> okay. So, uh, let's see here. Is there anything else we kind of have to cover? Like, we, we've done your guys' characters. We've talked right. a little bit about the game mechanics. Um, should I run through the moves real quick? Or sure. Should we Give just have yeah. them come yeah. up? When we, okay, yeah. So Just to be like, what the hell are they doing? Yeah, yeah. So, basically, the way this game sort of uh, goes is that you guys will just describe what you're trying to do, whether it's I'm going to sneak into a building or I'm going to summon an army of spirits that are on fire or some shit. And then I'll be like, cool, roll this move. And that will give you guys options when, you know, with whatever you roll. So the moves are convince, self-explanatory. You're trying to convince someone to do something or you're trying to seduce them or something like that. Uh, change the game is the broad move where it's just you're using your powers or you're using your abilities to affect the world or the environment in some way. Um, this is where all the weird power stuff comes in. So it's like, I want to grow a giant plant that makes a giant avocado, and I'm going to carve out that avocado to make a giant boat. That would be change the game. <laughs> I, I've played this game before. That happened. Wow. Yes. Face danger. It's when a car is barreling down at you, driven by the headless horseman, and you want to jump out of the way. That's face danger. Uh, go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. 
uh, whether you're doing like fucking fisticuffs or you know you're you're trying to grab something from someone else, that's go toe to toe. Uh, hit with all you've got. When you got a clear shot at someone, you want to sucker punch them, you want to shoot them in the face, something like that. Hit with all you've got. Uh, investigate. This game revolves around solving mysteries and figuring out who the bad guy is, and then kicking the crap out of them, or you know, solving another mystery. Who knows? It reminds <laughs> me of like so. Who did it? I'm not going to tell you. Who did it? Come on. <laughs> All right. <laughs> What'd you roll? Ten. All right. It was the butler. <laughs> <laughs> Mystery the... solved. <laughs> yeah, but in the City of Mist, the butler is being possessed by Loki. Oh, shit. Half of the mystery <laughs> solved. <laughs> <laughs> that bastard's back. <laughs> <laughs> then there's uh, sneaking around, and then there's uh, taking a risk. So, you know, whenever I... then each of those moves have their own options to them. Um, so whenever I get into that audience, that's what I'm talking about. If anyone's ever played a Powered by the Apocalypse game, like Apocalypse World, Monster of the Week, Monster Hearts, anything like that, uh, it's kind of the same conceit. Only instead of stats, it's these uh, power tags that our characters have. Uh, for anyone who's new to tabletop games and is wondering, what the hell am I talking about? Get good. <laughs> <laughs> our, our main goal here is to uh, tell a fun story. Uh, just using a game as a way of telling this radio drama. So there'll be times where you cry out of joy, sadness, pain of listening to this podcast. <laughs> but either way, we'll make you feel something. Love or hatred towards us. <laughs> yeah, you, you guys know that every podcast gets good after like a, you know, a couple dozen episodes. Yeah, right? of course. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, be patient with us. Yeah, stick around. And, in every, and in every break, a Skippy's commercial will come on yeah. here. <laughs> <laughs> with that being said, that's your character sheet right there. Right. Okay, and like I said, there's rules for montages, for flashbacks, for, you know, when you want to do a spirit bomb and stop holding back. Uh, but we'll get to those when we get to those. Cool. Let's get the ball going. Okay, is Let's there anything else we need to get into? rolling. Is there anything else we need to get into? I mean, do you want us to give a little background on our history or who we are as people, or? Uh, I mean, we can kind of go into that organically, I think. I you're, you're, the, you're the master of ceremony, man. Organic. Yeah. I mean, is there anything else you guys want to say about your characters? or? Uh, I am doing this game against oh, my wife. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh. I forgot. Uh, help hurt points. We have to establish how you guys know each other. Oh. Yeah, because oh. we um, have the crew theme, but we have to establish like the history. Right. Uh, that's something yeah. we... So I forgot... Sh to totally should have. Yeah, I forgot to mention <laughs> this uh, during the setup. But uh, each of your guys' themes, when mm -hmm. you know you like filled out your theme books and all that, and picked like the categories of them, mm -hmm. they also had questions at the end that you can choose to ask the other player how they have affected your life, whether they are a helpful presence or a hurtful presence. Okay. So you're an alcoholic, right? Yeah. You probably had to get your t stomach pumped a couple times. Yeah, I could, I could see that. So, um, yeah, I mean, I guess I just met you one day. Uh, I was the doc on standby at one o'clock in the morning. And I see this very old and grizzled detective. I'm like, that must, that man must be pretty hard to boil. And they're like, well, uh, Leo, get pumping. <laughs> and so, uh, I mean, I guess there were just, it was just a quick moment where I was just pumping your, your stomach and you were like, oh. that sounds very wrong. Not <laughs> so many. Levels. Have you ever seen a stomach pump? No, exactly. I have. I'm Leo. <laughs> I'm the doctor. And, and it's funny because when I was in that hospital and you were, I guess, saving my life, I felt a strange presence about you that I only felt when I would talk to the dead. So to feel that around you is like, okay, this guy is clearly not normal. Was it the glasses? Cause yes, it was yes. the glasses. Yeah, right, you're right. No, and again, I mean, I, I felt, I felt something about. You. I feel like a man who who's been through a lot, but has seen just a lot of death, and there was just something that I could, I could really connect to. Is you know, I was always trying to help people, and just the stories. You would tell me about, you know, why you're recovering that quick, you know, hour. Yeah. You like, just... like, literally, as soon as I got bettered, I went back on the job. Like, I got to go. Yeah. There's already another death that needs my attention. <laughs> and sometimes from time to time, you mean, you would call me up. You saw the expertise that I had in my medical ability. I was a pretty young doctor. Yeah. I mean, I know I remember you were, you were telling me, he's like, how was a 27-year-old, you know, already one of the head surgeons in this hospital? I'm like, well, I have a gift for these sort of things. And you would call me sometimes, right? Yeah, and I'll just be like, hey, you know, I got I got this body. It's I forensics is having a hard time with it. Coroner doesn't know what to do. Could you come and just give me some medical opinions? Yeah. <laughs> so you were pretty much like my aunt my go to when I could when I was just stuck at whatever kind of like fork road I had with yeah. this like body, like, okay, it wasn't stabbing, it wasn't this or what killed the body. Yeah. Or what killed the person. I like that. 
Yeah, it's, it's very much sort of like a, a cop doctor uh, yeah. duo Buddy kind cop. of thing. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, could you run this? We're, we're the Batman of Robin of City of Mist. <laughs> yeah. Very, very Pawn Stars. You know, yeah, I, I know a guy. Pawn Stars. <laughs> yeah, I know a guy who knows a guy. Mm-hmm. Okay, so you know what? I, I think we're going to simplify this mechanic a bit since it's just the two of you. I'd say just mm-hmm. uh, each of you get a help point uh, with the other character. Okay. So if you want to assist someone, you can give them that help point. Okay. <laughs> I throw a bottle of painkillers. Help point! <laughs> I know, it's like I'm bleeding to death. He's like... Bandages! <laughs> Eat this. What is it? It's poop. <laughs> It'll give you the nutrients you need. <laughs> I have a plus one in medical knowledge. <laughs> oh, God. Please don't put that in the story. <laughs> if you're here for realism, He's you came to the to wrong place. Me. <laughs> okay. I think with that, let's, uh, let's close down session zero and get into the game. <laughs>